Hey guys, Brian here. Just wanted to let you know and apologize up front for the audio quality in part of this show. Obviously, we're a small-time operation. Nobody's making any money off this deal. Um, so, uh, in your charity, please forgive us f- uh, for uh, for messing up a little bit with the audio this week. And uh, our apologies to everybody involved with producing this ad for um, for the audio quality of a part of this show, not the entire show. Um, you can, however, support us, get better equipment. You can buy a t-shirt. Just go to the-duckpin.creator-spring.com and buy some duckpin t-shirts and gear today. Now, on with the show. Hi there, and welcome to Chalk Session. I am your host, Brian Griffiths. This is the show here at the Duckpin where we analyze and review and critique political campaign ads. So join us on this week's show. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's take a look at this week's ad. On this week's episode of Chalk Session, we are going to look at an ad, a two-minute 17 ad from Kyle Sefcik. He is an independent who is running for governor of Maryland. So uh, he, he has a long road to hoe in order to get on the ballot. But uh, let's take a look at this ad, uh, the first, I guess it's actually the second gubernatorial ad uh, that we have analyzed for Chalk Session. Let's take a look. My name is Kyle Suction. I'm a father. I love the cuts here. This is actually a really, really um, good start to this to this spot. I'm a small business owner, a professional athlete, and I'm a servant to my community. Having all these pictures there and just making it relatable is, is really good at it. I do not represent Republicans, nor do I represent Democrats. I want to represent everyone which is why I'm running as unaffiliated for governor of the state of Maryland. If you elect me as your next governor, together we can show the rest of the country how to work together rather than being divided. Together we can take a stand and not be controlled by our government, who this past year alone showed how they overstepped their authority and tell us what we can and cannot do with our businesses and our lives. I love the fact that he's just working the fact that he is a professional fighter. This is this. I don't know who wrote this, but this is really high quality, high quality writing, high quality editing. When our so called leadership tried to force me to shut down my business during lockdowns, I refused. I thank God I did because I was still able to provide for my children during those hard times and I was able to keep my company from going out of business. Not only did we have zero issues, but we grew during that time. My children have just started school. I need a safe state for them and a strong focus on their education. I want to know where our tax dollars are really going. We need somebody to serve us that has not been a part of the same system, someone that's going to expose the truths. As your governor, I will veto any bill that comes to me regarding raising taxes, no matter what. And like I said, and he's just staying on message here and that the entire fighting theme. This has been, um, I got to say, of all the ads, that I have I've done so far. This is probably one of the best ones I have seen as far as staying on message and having a consistent theme. My word is my word. Let's put trust and integrity back into our leadership. My name is Kyle Sepchik, and I'm fighting for Maryland. We cut here to the end. Uh, we have the authority line here. I mean, this is this is. This is quality stuff, you know, for a candidate. You know, when you when you think about independent candidates, you don't expect too much of them. And you know, here we are at the end, and it's it's a pretty pretty high quality thing. We will uh, take a quick break, and then we will go ahead and talk to a little more of this Kyle Sefcik. Let's go ahead now and analyze this Kyle Sefcik ad. I think this was a really good ad, by the way. I just want to say that from the record. If you didn't catch that from my uh, during the video analysis um, and let's start with the video quality I think the video quality is very good the the fact that um, it looks professional 
um, which you don't usually see from lesser candidates for governor. Uh, I think that's a very good thing if he wants to have any chance of even making the ballot um, to have that that high level video quality. I think that's a really good, um, you know, really good thing for him. Um, the theme, you know, he stuck with the theme. The theme was what it was. He knew what he was going to say. And whoever wrote this and edited it, put it together, kept that theme constant throughout the video. There was no jumping around. There was no confusion as to where it was going. It knew its direction, and it knew exactly how it was going to get there. And I think that's a really good quality um, piece about this ad. The second was the music. Having that background music, it gave it the serious tone that they wanted in this video. I think it's a very good um, use of, uh, of music to set the tone. And um, you know, it just brings it all together. I mean, like I said, this was a very good video. And finally, you know, using the photos and the videos that were external, things that they already had available in the can, was just such a good use. They didn't have to go out and film new things. They didn't have to go out and grab any new footage. All they had to do um, for those other shots was to use photos that they already had, use video they already had, and they just weaved it effectively into the ad. If I was going to have one teeny critique about the ad it was the fact they didn't put their social media um handles in there but other than that you know this was a damn good damn near perfect ad and for that i give this video an a plus that's all the time we have on this episode of chalk session again be sure to follow us on social media and if you have an ad that you want us to analyze in one of these chalk session videos please feel free to email us at theduckpin at gmail.com. For all of us here at the Duck Pin, thanks, and we'll see you next time.